What goes around comes around. Exactly, guys. I am around with the most exciting and epic gist that happened in the entertainment industry this week. And trust me, you don't want to miss any bit of it. You know how we do it here, right? We go on a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to dive straight into serious matters. And besides, this is Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bay. You can now buy bitcoins and crypto with the CFA and their mobile money with the yellow card. Download the app on App Store and Play Store to start trading. Fan love or excitement? Every day we sing support your own, support your own, but when someone does it, it becomes an issue. So Cameroonian lady Blanche Wagon tattooed Stan Yeno's face on her back as a demonstration of her love for him. I mean, as a fan, I saw a fan genuinely showing love for her celebrity. Guys, watch this. A lot of Cameroonians went mad after seeing Blanche with King Kong's face on her back. A lot of people have been criticizing her, saying she's cloud chasing. We even had someone who referred to her as an Ashawa. Oops, that was harsh. Oh, Pancho did not find this funny at all. So after Stalino shared Blanche's video on his various social media handles, CY International came after him saying, Will you get married to a woman carrying another man's face? on her body? Sheer question. Something King Kong's fans did not find funny at all. They referred to old Pancho as an old frustrated man. Right now, King Kong is not in the country but has promised to reward Blanche Wagon for showing him such crazy love. And this is Blanche's response. My biggest crush didn't just repost me, but he also said, love you mommy, he jog, oh, he jog, he jog, he jog. Man, I beg, I want to give away. You ought to say more details. How far will you go to show love for your favorite celebrity? Guys, I'll leave it up to you in the comment section. Is Jesus finally coming back as promised? I mean, the craziest thing that happened on the internet this week is this 10 years old child who is allegedly pregnant and is claiming to be carrying Jesus. I mean, don't ask me the Jesus she's talking about. And don't even ask me if MJ Gabriel visited her. So according to this adolescent, it's a miracle. She claims she had no intimacy with a man and she says she's going to name her child Jesus as she insists it's going to be a boy. Check this out. I sure say so you'll be pregnant. What if you fit tell them? And then say, a miracle. A miracle. And even my support me. May I go sleep? God, this is crazy. How is it even possible? How did it happen? I hope this is a comedy skit. I really hope it is. Because if it is not, like she said, then we are really living the end time period. And I want to ask you parents, will you find it funny if your 10 years old daughter comes back to you saying she's pregnant and claiming to have had no intercourse or no intimacy with a man? I'll leave it up to you in the comment section. Hey, she says she likes sharp guys. Pull up in a range kind of guys. Pull up in a Benz kind of guys. I once said on this platform that Magasco's gift challenge is the biggest thing the entertainment industry had this year because we had a lot of artists who jumped on it, both upcoming artists and A-list artists. I'm Dasha, Namidi Dasha, I'm first name Queen, fierce like Sasha. One leg on Ben Kutara, we roll Kimbam. We you tall in Bera Wukutamba Mutara, we roll Umwana Pfunyam, Adela we wuna mutu. Two days ago, Magasco released the official visuals of his highly anticipated gift challenge featuring a lot of artists on it we have artists like cookie mr unique we have zival we have shanzi we have nat we have finila we have t mark we have mike monster and cleo gray some fans did not welcome the remix as expected they claim the artists on the remix are not the best some are still wondering the criteria used in selecting this artist What's your take on this GIF remix which was highly anticipated by many fans but once it was released, according to some fans, looks like it wasn't necessary. Guys, let me know in the comment section. GIF remix by Magasco featuring a lot of Cameroonian upcoming artists and A-list artists. According to you, hit or miss? Let me know in the comment section.
Nigerian fast rising artist Bella Shimoda in a radio interview with Nabil when asked to say something about Cameroonian artists, he said he knows Stanley Enno because of his collaboration with Ice Prince. And as for Jovi, he said Jovi is doing well. Check this out, guys. Yeah, I know Stanley Enno is a good right. guy. I saw him with Ice Prince. Like um, Jovi, yeah, uh, yeah, he's doing well too. So, right. shout out to Cameroonian. The Boko Gang did not take it lightly with Bella. According to them, Jovi is 10 times, I mean, 100, what am I even saying? 1 million times bigger than him and deserves respect. Waxi, on the other hand, says Bella Shimoda should be the one to be excited if Young Holiday knows him. You know who Young Holiday is? He's a Cameroonian rapper. I'm not saying I'm living a lie, but there's so much about me I don't show. Acting like I'm always fine, but the moment the curtain closes and the song goes. Sitting alone on my bed, I'm a different person, but whenever that call grows, I put on these crazy defenses and face you like I do not cry when I'm all alone. It's not like I'm faking it now, nah. but there's so much hidden in this demise. Being a grown up is a job on its own, and I wasn't prepared to jump like surprise. So, like half of the time, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm clueless. And that's what I don't like, I'ma hurt you without even knowing that I'm being ruthless. Would you be on my side if I showed you my past? Unsense, something. Let you see things that I wish I deleted. Wait a minute. Is Wax Day insinuating that Bella Shimoda is an upcoming artist? Do you think Wax Day is right? You think he's making a point here? I mean, we all know the stand Nigerians have when it comes to the Cameroon entertainment industry. The ones referred to us as a baby industry, and a few years back, Davido said the only artist he knows in Cameroon is Stanley Endo, and history keeps repeating itself. And we all know the bunch of talent we have in Cameroon. We even have artists that are international. Why all this stuff from Nigerian artists? Should it not call for concern? I'll leave it up to you in the comment section, guys. Guys, that's all what we have for the first segment of this program. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about every gist I gave you here. And if you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Go nowhere, I'll be right back. Our number 10 video of the week is this beautiful smashing brand new banger from Cameroonian artist Charlotte Dipanda signed to Universal Music. The song is titled Dang No Kaye. It's an extract from her fifth studio album titled CD. Watch and enjoy. Elle est passé l'époque de la cour de récré Où l'on se cachait pour s'embrasser Elle est passé Popping up at the ninth position, we have this beautiful song titled Dear Father from Cameroonian artist Demi Gods. <laughs> Our number 8 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Pinto Fresh. The song is titled Jump For You. <laughs> Popping up at the seventh position is this beautiful brand new release titled Miracle Ground from Cameroonian artist Maureen Foba. Something is moving under my feet. I feel the Holy Ghost moving me. The Holy Ghost moving me. I hear a sound in my ear. I feel the Holy Ghost. Popping up at the sixth position is this beautiful song titled Good Night Flu from Cameroonian artist Young Time. I'm far from Unity Palace, but also far from the ghetto. Far from dumb place where I dare you need for smart dope. I'm far from average, I live next to the best. I'm far from pro, but I don't think I'm close to wealth. Boko Bass from Cameroonian artist Crispy occupies our fifth position. I'm a buffalo soldier, dreadlock rasta, pay setter, real life bulldozer, short boy with a sprilly bush, qualify a night to show high cause man a ganja burner, <laughs> African jewelry on my neck. Popping up at the fourth position is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian Bikusi Diva Coco Ajante featuring Ivorian artist Venong. The song is titled Laba. Then 
them not know is Mike Monster's brand new banger and it occupies the third position. All the boy they no know. I'm ready to face the gun. And when I start fight, I know the run. The boy they no know. How this music saved my life. I dive inside a passion, stay alive. The men they no know. Just for leave this a catch. Popping up at the second position is this beautiful, smashing, brand new collabo song. With a remix coming straight away from Magasco, featuring Cookie, Mr. Unique, Nat, Zibal, Shanzi, T Mag, Tinila, Mike Monster, and Cleo Gray. Guys, this is Give Remix. Think of me like your body, man, way pack. Way pack. I mean, we no be any kind of job. Kind of job. But you the looks bien climatisé. We when you pull up, they mo ask and who be that? Who be that? We want some better living with the charisma and food too. That kind of want for buy this and a back. So long as I'm a 200 still day and then my several still the work that me that budget now feel like who bought the bugger so designer from head to toe. Long ago they dance all la vida low. In that hook and corner the broken door. We know the yellow cock for Babylon and that volume low. And number one video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Mimi featuring Loco. The song is titled Fire and it has been banging and trending everywhere guys watch and enjoy guys that's all we have for our top 10 hottest cameroonian songs this week you can get your favorite artist on and off the countdown all you have to do is propose them to us in the comment section pick up the week coming up right away Welcome on Pick of the Week. Mr. Leo's photo surfaces on the internet with Amma Tutumuna, former Minister of Arts and Culture. And instead of fans to like and share, they prefer to focus on Mr. Leo's shoes. Who does that, guys? Check it out now. Mr. Leo wear kolang when I complain. He wear normal shoes when I complain. What do you want from the Lion of Africa? Guys, be serious at times. <laughs> Thank you so very much, guys. This is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of Hot and GC. I am so happy you guys watched till the end. And if you're watching for the first time or if you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification. And don't forget to let me know what you think about today's episode in the comment section. Please do like and share so that others can watch too. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more entertaining gist on the Cameroon entertainment industry, stay glued to 237 Showbiz. We're on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and we are very much active on our website too. And if you are not on our Telegram channel, I am sorry to say this, you are missing out a lot that has been happening in the entertainment industry. Like I always say, there are things we don't take on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter that we take it directly on our Telegram channel. So make sure you're part of us. It's 237 Showbiz and keep following all. Let people make those around you to follow our new division 237 Showbiz Studio. I'll be right back next week guys. Do have a great weekend. <laughs> Who does that guys? Watch this. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go.